it's a cookware. So it's called that because we cook in it. So let me start with this biggest one. So we call this a stock pot. Some people call it a Dutch oven, but um, in class we call it a stock pot. This is what I would, if I was cooking a large quantity of pasta, for example, I would fill it with water and bring it to a boil. Um, the lid is nice because it's see-through and it has a really good handle on it. It also has two handles, one on each side so you can pick it up, but that's a stock pot. Then going here, I have a frying pan. So it's called a frying pan because I can literally fill this with oil and I can pan fry right inside here, inside this pan. So it is a, um, a frying pan. So I also have saute or skillets that are simple to use. They're different sizes. If I'm going to um, make some scrambled eggs for myself, I'm probably gonna use this nice small pan. Yep, you can see someone used a, the wrong kind of utensil in here and scraped the bottom of it already. These aren't very old, but it is what it is. So um, this one's a little bit larger, so if I was doing several, if I was making an omelet, I'd probably use that bigger one. And then I have this, this is in that last video. Um, this is a grease drainer. So let's say I'm making sloppy joes and I brown a pound of ground beef in here. I'm gonna separate the fat from the lean and I don't want all that fat left in there. So I'm going to put this on the side of my pan and I'm going to have a container to catch my grease and I'm going to Pour it right into there. The drainer will allow the grease to come out and the uh, grease will come out and the meat will stay behind, the, what we call the lean, that'll stay behind. But we always do that in the sink in a container so it doesn't go down the drain and it doesn't go anywhere else because it's kind of sometimes a little bit dangerous. Another piece of our cookware is what we call a saucepan. This is the medium sized one. We don't have a large one in our sets but this is a medium size saucepan. Comes with a lid. It has just one handle. So I would make, obviously, sauces. I could um, make a smaller quantity of something in this. If I'm going to make pudding from scratch, I'm gonna use this. Uh, it's, a, it's a great pan. Back here is what we call a double boiler. So if I want to melt something like chocolate and not burn it, which would happen in this pan quite easily, I'm going to use this pan. There's a pan inside a pan. The bottom one gets just water, just enough so it doesn't touch the bottom of my pan when I put it in here, or that water will scorch whatever I'm putting in here. So a lot of delicate sauces, or like a hollandaise, or maybe a something that I'm cooking like chocolate that I don't want to melt, or I want it to melt, I'm sorry, but I don't want it to scorch. That's what I'm going to use. So this is a good old fashioned double boiler. I grew up, I didn't have one. So my mom um, always used two pans. We used the medium size and then a small pan sitting inside it, but it was hard because the, the water that was in the bottom of this would scorch the bottom of the pan. So it, it takes a little bit more skill to use the double version versus if you buy a real double boiler. A Couple of things that are considered to be bakeware. This is a glass casserole dish. All right, it's a square one and then we have a round one. It's another casserole. This is one that has a lid on it. So I could make like, oh, like a, oh, some type of casserole, like a spaghetti one, or like a, a loose lasagna that I would throw all in there and then reheat it all the way through in my um, oven. This one, um, what's really handy with the glass one is that if it doesn't get done in enough time in your oven, you can always throw it into a microwave and finish it up. 